Hello and welcome to episode 21 of Youth Squad Prospects 3 with Colchester United. We have a new player of the month. It is Sean Maguire from Preston. Congratulations, man. Today we have our first tie in the Checker Trade Trophy. Then we face Rochdale and Peterborough. Let's jump right into it. Checker Trade Trophy action at home. A massive change to the squad. I've rotate every single player just to make sure everybody's fresh and so there we go we're gonna face Vladislav Tonev for another time let's do it Aldonado straight off the bat I see him Peva making the run with the header oh it's wide it wasn't even that powerful it was a header though yes and Peva to make up Oh, this guy simply cannot find the target whatsoever. Yes, and Peba. I see the run on the other side. It's a very heavy ball. Will Maldonado get there? He will. And will deliver the cross in and everything. But not a very good cross to end the first half. 1-0 to Grimsby. Inside. Bad pass. It's been the story of the bloody episode. Yes. Good ball. There we go. Finally, a decent through ball. Can we get it in? Finally. Just barely. And Peva still can't finish for shit. He can't finish his own dinner. And Perez has to turn it in. And he does it. Boyce has to turn it in. And he does so. Well done by him. Great ball by Andrade to set that one up. Of course, and Peva's going to miss it. Ball. Cardwell. Vergara's there again. He's been rock solid at the back. Singh. He's going to wait to return the favour to Eamon Boyce. And he misses it. Wow. I'm just not playing FIFA well today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for the terrible gameplay. Go on. Blow for full time. There we go. 1-1. One, one. Full time whistle blows. Well, we're going straight to penalties. Perez the first to take. It saves. I still can't believe how the goalkeepers always guess the first time. It's just ridiculous. It's OP. Oh, and they get lucky like that. Hits the post and goes in. Get their second penalty. Oh, come on, Trippakis. What are you doing? Oh yes, penalty. Great penalty by Singh. Let's go. And Peva. Can he finish from the spot? No, he can't. Of course he can't. Yes, right. Oh, come on. If they score, they win. It's Vladislav Tonev against his former side. And he smashes it in. You couldn't write this stuff. You couldn't write this stuff up. Ladislav Tonev knocks his former team out of the Checker Trade Trophy. What a solid, solid penalty. It's just not been our day, lads. We'll bounce back in the league. Eamon Boyce, definitely our best player. Did got the man of the match somehow. We did well in the 90 minutes, but we didn't convert our chances <laughs> this is funny right Trippakis wants to play disgraceful performance by him had one shot to save and didn't save it penalties dreadful he let everything in and he wants to play in the next league match you can piss off mate got reports Slovenia what have you got no face player reject the only decent guy is Dragutin Kastilic 49 to 65, 69 to 93, we'll scout him for a further month. So, Colombia, what have you got? You've got Eliseo Nunez. Oh, man, we've got Nunez's brother here. Eliseo Nunez, welcome to the club, mate. 53 to 73 overall, 76 to 94, 5 foot 10. Should be a cam or a centre forward around that. And finally, Sweden. These were the suggestions from the pre-season live stream and they're doing alright but Sweden hasn't got anyone decent unfortunately 
Right, next game, Rochdale away. Two changes to our main lineup for this uh, league game away to Rochdale. O'Carroll and the left star for Valverde and Cardenas, both on international duty for Bolivia. Let's go. Right, we're at the Spotland Stadium. Let's do this. O'Carroll, the ball through. Magellan, Eswine returns the favour. Magellan inside with the shot and again. It's blocked. It's everything's blocked in this game. Inside and it's over. Bad chance. The bad shot there by Rathbourne to end the half. Nil nil. Boring nil nil draw. Three subs. Super sub Alexandrov is on. Morgan Griffiths is on to the other wing and Martin is in central defensive midfielder with Bohan moving to left back. Oh, Carroll's out. He's, he's knackered. Give over with the delay on the challenges. Yes, Rose in. Eric, let's go. He's through. He's done well to get into this position. Can he finish? Of course he can. There we go. And he's riding it in the wave. There you go. Great goal. Brilliant footwork by Eric and Gadu and Gadui. Who scores in off the post now, just side netting, but still quality finish. Rose got someone free in Morgan Griffiths. Now Rose back to Griffiths. Back to Rose inside. He's played it so well. And Rose has missed it. Yes, Alexandrov, S line, back to the super sub. Yes, inside, S line, 2 0. Thank you very much for coming. We have finally scored consistently, and we need S line and Gadu and Gadiwi for that. And we've done well today, but really, the the Checker Trade Trophy has paid the price. Great footwork there. Great one twos between S1 and Super Sub Alexandrov, who never fails to put on a good show. Oh, it's a good ball through, and I just pressed the wrong button, and it's a red card, rightfully so. The lever's off. Pressing triangle. I was trying to press triangle, and I've Press square instead of it. I was trying to call the goalkeeper out. And the levers pay the price as the free kick goes over, thankfully. I'm going to have to do this with 10 men. This is a test to our character. See if we can hold on to the clean sheet. There's my goal out there as the ball goes wide there from the shot. It's a corner kick. Now it's cleared out. 2 0 win. And S1 has picked up the man of the match. I feel bad for the lev because it wasn't his fault, it was mine. And we've got backup that can do the job there now, so there's no problem. Great uh, return to winning ways. Delight over in Gaddy and Gaddy. Oh, God damn right. He's just been a monster up front. Even though he's six foot, honestly in game feels like he's six three, th six four. He's just muscling defenders out of his way. Transfer offer for Dylan Phillips as Sabande is back from injury. And the Lev is suspended just for the one game, thankfully. I'm going to try and get 320. Right, let's try 320, as I said earlier. Submit offer. They won the flat 300. You know what? Let's meet in the middle. 310. Why not? Be stingy. Exactly. Thank you very much. Dylan Phillips should be a Crew Alexandra player in no time. Castaneda is loaned out to Blackpool. Finally finalised that move. And Dylan Phillips is out of the door. Nicely done. Peterborough at home for the final game of the episode. We're going to have to go on our way, kids, because... Peter Morrow's kit are white and blue. So, you know what? You're going to go with your away kit too. Here's the starting lineup. I've decided to give Martin uh, the nod on because I think he deserves it for what he's done in this season. 
so far, ever since he's come to the senior squad, he's been do he's done nothing but delivering. And I feel that after that last game, it's pretty clear that Martin needs a start. And the only guy I could really drop was Bohan from that midfield. So there you go. Cardenas is back from international duty. So is Valverde, but Valverde is tired. So the pawn starts ahead of him. Let's go. Going to experience our lovely away kits at home this time. Probably for the first time in this career mode. I actually prefer the, the green to the blue and white. But I think they're both solid kits. Yes, tackling. Well done. We are the top scoring teams in five games. We scored 11 goals. Thank Eric and Gadu and Gadui for that. Yes, oh, well, that's a foul. S1 brought down just at the edge of the penalty area. And Jack Baldwin picks up a yellow card. And Gadu and Gadiwi over the free kick since White is out injured. Oh, it's blocked. Again, good crossing. Oh, well done. Duggan, another good cross. Keepers completely missed it. So was Cardenas. He's missed an open net. Proper left back shot that one, Martin. Look at a ball. Look at that for a ball. Magalan on the other wing. Cuts inside. He's got space to do anything and he loses possession. But Martin is running it right now. Look at him. He gets the ball back and he keeps it in as well. Oh, the Sardi. Duggan. Good ball through. Finally, an opening, a good opening. Eric and Gadu, and Gadu, we make it 1 0. Thank you very much. What a goal. He just smashed that in. Keeper has no chance. No, oh, it's a ball through. Marriott's good save. Nunez, first big test for him this game. First big intervention. Any away. Yes. Oh no, it's rebounded. What a save by Nunez and Duggan heads it out. Great piece of defending to end the half. Well, that was tense. Gonna bring on Super Sub Alexandrov, Bohan and Griffiths because Martin is tired and so are the wingers. Good ball. Oh, there's a space inside. Way too easily. Brandon Rose makes it 2-0. Thank you very much for coming. Peterborough United are getting a hard time dealing with our attacks. Great ball through. I just saw Rose going for it and just passed it before he run through the offside line. Caddo, good ball through. Madison. Yes, ball across. Couldn't get there. Marriott makes it 2-1. Pulls one back for Peterborough. They deserve it. They've been playing all right, to be honest. God, we can't pick two passes together now. What is going on? Ever since they got that goal back. Oh, and, and they, they just scored the second. Minutes later. Two all out of nowhere. After a great start to the second half, I don't know what the, the fuck my team is up to. Yes, there we go. Good ball through. There it is. S Wine, surely. Finally, we've done it. S Wine makes it 3 2. Great game of football. We've been a game of two halves, really. And we've just made it up. Made it up for our massive let offs at the back. Oh, got a chance. There we go, S Wine. Puts it on the wing, super sub Alexandra, what is he going to do? Yes, S1, good footwork. Gets it back on his right, can he shoot? Great save. Full time whistle blows, 3-2, great game of football. Colchester United fans, ecstatic. What a performance for our attack they did bits out there the defense needs work but they held on 3-2 the final score
They had way more shots, they had more possession and everything. Lorcan Duggan was the man of the match. Who saw that one coming? I didn't. They, he had two assists actually. I didn't thought any of those were his assists and any of the goals. I guess I was wrong. Well, that is going to do it. I'm going to show you the training that I'm doing at the moment right there. Good training session to finish off this episode. I hope you have enjoyed episode 21. I'm going to see you all next time. And until then, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.